Hi, I'm B-Rad, and welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. Today I'm here to show you my Resident Evil collection. Resident Evil is one of my very favorite video game series. I got quite a few games. I don't have every single version of every game that ever came out, but I have uh, a lot of them, and I want to show you what I got. Okay, uh, this is Resident Evil Director's Cut. This is the very first Resident Evil, is the Director's Cut version of it, which just added some uh, mixed up gameplay and stuff like that. Um, I used to have the big box original version, but I sold it so I could get this one. I wish I still had that big box. Uh, this is a great game. I loved it a lot. Um, I was originally thinking about getting a Sega Saturn, and then I saw this Resident Evil game come out for PlayStation, and I really, really wanted to get it. So I, you know, I, I got PlayStation, and I got Resident Evil. Um, I love this game a lot, and I've played it multiple, multiple times, and uh, it, this is where it all started. Okay, uh, this is Resident Evil 2. Uh, this is also for PS1. Uh, this was like the first one, but just way, way better. So much more uh, better stuff to do. The graphics are way better, uh, better items. There's also, um, you know, the campaign, the way that went uh, with the multiple characters and multiple playthroughs and stuff gave uh, more replayability. Um, it was just a fantastic game. And also they're coming out with a remake of it. I'm sure a lot of people already know about that. And I'm really looking forward to that. If you are too as well, please let me know in the comments below. This is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and uh, this is a game I enjoyed a lot. I really, really liked it. I liked Part 2 better, and uh, when I first played it, uh, I wasn't quite as big of a fan of it as I am now. Um, I just, uh, like I said, it's like Part 2 so much, and when you only had the one character to play as, I just didn't dig the mercenary mode as much as the campaigns. I was always into the story and the lore of Resident Evil, so uh, for Part 3, um, I did enjoy it a lot. Uh, but just I like part two better. This also has the nemesis in it though And that was awesome how he chases you from room to room to room That was the first time they ever did that Resident Evil, so that was uh, really cool and creepy This is Resident Evil Code Veronica X and uh, this is probably the last one where they did the traditional kind of tank controls in a Resident Evil game uh, It's a great game. Um, I really enjoyed it. It uh, was the first one that came out on a next-generation console and uh, it felt like you're playing like the old original one, it's just way better looking, and uh, I enjoy it a lot, and I um, really recommend it. Uh, this is Resident Evil Dead Aim. Uh, this is a light gun shooter game. It's a really cool, it came with an awesome light gun, and uh, it was pretty neat. What uh, was neat about it wasn't like, it wasn't an on-rail shooter game. Um, you actually had to run around, you run around in third person, and you see your character and uh, you know you find items and uh, find keys go through doors stuff like that just like any other regular Resident Evil game uh, but when you encounter an enemy you point your light gun at the screen and you start shooting it goes to like a first person mode instantly you shoot the enemies and then you can back out of that screen and continue to run around um, I thought this was a pretty awesome Resident Evil game it's pretty short but uh, it was neat how you could use a gun if you don't have a gun it's not nearly as much fun I recommend playing it with the gun Uh, this is Resident Evil 4. Uh, this is a fantastic game. Uh, they really mixed up uh, the gameplay style in this. Instead of traditional zombies, it's got these uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, guys with parasites or whatever. They still want to try and kill you and, and uh, stuff, and they're really bad. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, one of the best Resident Evil games that's come out. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, except I really enjoyed it. But I just I also like the traditional zombies ones. You know, that's kind of my Resident Evil. All right, this is Resident Evil Outbreak. Um, this is a pretty cool game if you have people that know how to play it with you uh, back when the servers were on. I don't think the servers are up anymore. But um, it was a lot of fun, and uh, playing it single player with the computer AI really sucked. Um, it was still fun, but it was confusing. You had to know what you were doing. Anyway, it was still a cool game. Okay, uh, this is Resident Evil. It's the original one remade for GameCube. Uh, this is a fantastic remake. Um, they've also remade it again for PS4, but they did a remake of this. It's a remake of a remake. Um, it's pretty much like this, with just better graphics. Anyway, uh, PS1 version is great. If you want to play that, go ahead. It is a good game, and I loved it a lot. But they really stepped it up with this. They didn't change it, uh, the game in a bad way at all. Just everything about it is just way, way, way better. It's a great game, and I highly recommend this version of the game. Okay, this is Resident Evil Zero, and this is uh, a prequel. 
it, uh, it was a really cool game. You have two characters you can play as, like simultaneously. You have to flip back and forth between the two of them. It's a little weird, but it was uh, still a pretty cool game, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's a lot like playing a res uh, original Resident Evil game with the tank controls and all that stuff. Okay, uh, this is uh, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, and I haven't uh, played this one yet. I picked it up uh, quite fairly recently. And uh, also, it's an on-rails kind of shooter game. You replay a lot of uh, Resident Evil 2, from what I understand, and then it shows you some new stuff you haven't seen in the story before. So I do want to check it out, but uh, I'm not too big of a fan of the on-rails shooter idea, but uh, I am going to play it eventually. Okay, uh, this is Resident Evil 5 for PS3. And uh, I enjoy this one a lot. It's a lot like Resident Evil 4, but you can play co-op and stuff. Resident Evil 4 is definitely better. It's more scarier. And um, I like how you had to kick the ladders down in Resident Evil 4 and stuff. You don't do that, I don't think, in this one. It was still pretty cool, but the story gets a little crazy as well. Uh, this is Resident Evil 6. I enjoyed this one quite a bit, probably more than a lot of other people did. But I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, so I loved it a lot. And... Um, like it has four campaigns in it. Um, it. It takes a long time to get through it all. It's a fun game. It's, I guess it's definitely worth your money if you want to play through it all. The first campaign with Leon was awesome because it's traditional zombies, and the other three all uh, have like you know the Plagueis zombies. So um, I enjoy the first campaign the most for sure, and it felt more like playing a, a traditional Resident Evil game. This one is uh, very highly action orientated. It was a really cool game, and you can play it cooperatively, which I did enjoy a lot. And the story's intertwined, which is pretty cool too. Um, I thought it was a pretty a good game. It gets crapped on quite a lot. I enjoyed it a lot more than a lot of other people did. Um, Resident Evil 6. Uh, this is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And uh, this one is an online one. Um, it's pretty cool. You can uh, play as um, like Resident Evil uh, like uh, Umbrella agents and you're trying to go in and cover up any traces of Umbrella after the Raccoon City incident. And uh, it doesn't get a lot of great reviews as well, but I don't know, I like playing it a lot. I played it online and that was fun. And um, it's one of the first games where you can get swarmed by lots and lots of zombies like no other uh, Resident Evil game before, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it does get kind of repetitive after a while, I guess that's the only downside of it, uh, but it is still pretty cool. Uh, this is Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, I like this one a lot. Um, I was quite surprised. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. I first played it on Nintendo 3DS, so I ended up picking up this uh, copy for uh, fairly cheap. And um, I like this a lot because uh, even though it didn't have the regular zombies, they're kind of like these weird sea creature kind of things. They behave similar to regular zombies. And also, it was going back to, um, you know, you find a key and you have to go open a room over here, and then you find a switch, or you open a bathroom uh, bathtub plug and it drains and there's an item down below. It was a lot like playing the very first orig original Resident Evil with some of the puzzles and stuff. So that was really fun and I enjoyed this game a lot more than I expected to. I highly recommend people playing this one. It's a really cool game. Alright, uh, uh, this is Resident Evil 6 again. I got a steel case for it. This is actually a PS4 version where the other one was a PS3. I was playing it online with a friend of mine and I had a lot of fun doing it so that's why I picked it up for uh, PS4. I picked it up pretty cheap. Uh, this is Resident Evil 7. Now this game, uh, first of all, the other Resident Evil games I love them a lot, but they're not, like, I don't find them really, really scary. This is the first time Resident Evil for me was really scary. Um, I've played it in VR, I've only played it in VR. Um, I guess that's not necessarily true. When the game came out, there was like a downloadable demo, and I played just the demo with my controller, and that was pretty scary on my TV. But when I bought this game, I've only ever played it in VR. It is creepy as heck. When I play this game, I am like, oh my god, oh my god, looking around over my shoulders, around corners. You can actually peer right around uh, through door frames and stuff, and uh, it's really creepy and intense, and uh, I love it a lot. I highly recommend this. If you get the chance to play it in VR, try it. If you can only play it on TV, it is still really creepy. Okay, uh, this is Resident Evil Revelations 2. I like the first one a lot, so I really want to play this. I haven't yet, and uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. I picked it up for really cheap, so um, you know I already got it, and I can't wait to try it. Uh, you get to play as uh, Claire Redfield, and I think a couple other classic characters. Anyway, I can't wait to uh, check it out. Um, like I said, the first one was really cool, so I want to try this one.
And this is the last one I got. This is uh, Resident Evil Revelations, the first one, but for 3DS. Uh, on the 3DS, playing this in 3D, it was really, really cool. If uh, you like Resident Evil and you have a 3DS and you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It's really awesome. Um, I don't know what to say. It's one of the best Resident Evil games I've played in uh, recent times. So uh, check it out. Anyway, what do you guys think? That was my Resident Evil collection of games. Um, I have a bunch of Resident Evil movies too. Um, fortunately, a lot of them are really bad. It's too bad because I love the video game series so much. Uh, check out Resident Evil Degeneration. It's a CGI uh, Resident Evil movie. If you haven't seen that one, that one's actually really cool and it reminds me a lot of the video game series. Um, anyway, uh, please leave some comments. What do you think? Do you guys love Resident Evil? Did you used to like Resident Evil, but maybe not so much anymore? Do you still love it a lot like me? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and then tap that bell icon to get more updates of the B-Rad Video Show. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.